Lesson 4.2, adding, subtracting, and multiplying polynomials. All right, to add and subtract polynomials, we add or subtract the coefficients of the terms with the same power or exponent. We call this combining like terms. For example, Notice the 5x squared and the negative 3x squared. They both have x squared. So I can add those together. So 5 and negative 3 make 2x squared. Then I have just the x's. x plus, so that's a 1x. It's not written there, it's a 1. So it's 1x plus a negative 6x. So 1 plus a negative 6 is negative 5x. And then we have a negative 7 plus a negative 1, which make negative 8. Let's try another one. This time we're subtracting. So we take the x cubes. 3 minus 5 is minus 2x cubed. And then the x squareds. So if 8 minus, that's a 1, x squared. 8 minus 1, x squared is 7, x squared. And then the x is, notice the right hand one doesn't have an x, so it's just negative x minus nothing. So we just have our negative x. And then our numbers. We have negative 5 minus 17. Negative 5 minus 17 is negative 22. Multiplying polynomials. To multiply polynomials, use the distributive property. For example, we are going to take everything on the left and multiply with everything on the right. So I'm going to have x times x x times 4, negative 3 times x, and negative 3 times 4. Notice those have the same power in x, so I can combine them. They're like terms. So 4x minus 3x, 4 minus 3 is 1x. Try one that's a little longer. Still done the same way though. So I'll have x times x squared, x times 3x, x times a negative 4, 2 times x squared, 2 times 3x, and 2 times negative 4. So now we get to combine like terms. There's just the 1x cubed, but there are 3 and 2, makes 5x squared. A negative 4x plus a 6x. Negative 4 plus 6 is 2x. And then the negative 8 is the only just number. Let's try another one. Oh, this one has three parts. How do I do this? Well, all you do is you multiply the first two. You get that answer, and you multiply it with the third one. So I'm just going to multiply the first two. x times x, x times 2, negative 1 times x, negative 1 times 2. And that's still multiplied by the x plus 3. Combine like terms. 2x minus 1x, 2 minus 1 is 1x. And now multiply these. x squared times x, x squared times 3, x times x, x times 3. Negative 2 times x, 
negative 2 times 3. And now just combine like terms. So we have 3x squared plus 1x squared is 4x squared. 3x minus 2x leaves 1x, and then the minus 6. There are some special product patterns. Um, you don't have to memorize these, but they are shortcuts. For example, if we multiply a sum and a difference, a minus b times a plus b, we get a squared minus b squared. So you get a times a is the a squared. That's a b. That's a negative a b. A minus b squared. And notice the middles cancel out. You're left with a squared minus b squared. Square of a binomial. Um, I'll illustrate it with the plus, I guess. The plus and minus, if you use a plus in the first one, you'd use a plus in the second one. If you use a minus in the first one, you'd use a minus in the second one. When it's squared, it means it's times itself. So it'd be a times a, a times b, a times b, and b squared, or a squared plus two ab's plus b squared. And right, so you can see these are just shortcuts. And the cube of a binomial gives you that. And again, if you use the plus over here, then you'd use the plus there and the plus there. Or if they use the minus in the first one, you'd use minus in the others. So let's try some of special patterns. Let's start with x minus 3 squared. That pattern was a plus and minus b squared equals a squared plus and minus 2ab plus b squared. Now we're using the minus, so we're only going to have the minus. a is x and b is 3. So if I fill in the pattern, it's a squared minus 2a times b plus b squared. So I simplify the middle part. 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 squared is 9. Let's try another one. Oh, a cube this time. a cubed plus or minus b cubed was, sorry, that wasn't right, was a plus or minus b cubed is a cubed plus or minus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus minus b cubed. Well, we have the plus, so we're going to ignore the minus. And a appears to be x, and b appears to be 2. So it was a cubed plus 3a squared times b plus 3a times b squared plus b cubed. Now you just have to simplify. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12. And 2 cubed is 8. It would be nice to have some shortcut for other powers of a plus b. So let's look at this. It's called the binomial expansion, or Pascal's triangle. x plus y to the 0 is just 1, because anything to the 0 is 1. x plus y to the first is 1x plus 1y, because it's to the first it just stays the same as x plus y. Squared it was 1x squared plus 2xy plus 1y squared. 
from our special pattern. Cubed from the special pattern uh, was 1x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus 1y cubed. We can expand that by noticing that if I add 1 plus 1, I get 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. So I add the two numbers above to get the numbers below. Also notice the powers of x go down, as you go across, and the powers of y increase as you go across. So x plus y to the fourth would be 1x to the fourth, 4, power of x goes down, so x cubed, y, 3 and 3 makes 6, power on x goes down, power on y goes up, 3 and 1 is 4, power on x goes down, power on the y goes up, and then 1y, power of y goes up. So if we wanted x plus y to the fifth, it would be 1x to the fifth, 5, power of x goes down, power of y goes up. 4 and 6 make 10, so it will be 10x, power on x goes down, power on y goes up. 6 and 4 make 10, power on x goes down, power on y goes up. 1 and 4 is 5, power on x goes down, power on y goes up. And then 1 and y to the fifth. And we could continue down. Those black numbers are called Pascal's triangles. And those are the coefficients for a plus b to any exponent. So using that, we can expand binomials. So let's use Pascal's triangle to expand this. If we go back to the previous slide, we see that the row that's to the fourth power is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So it's 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Instead of y, though, we have a negative 3. So it was 1x to the fourth plus 4x cubed y plus 6, power on x goes down, power on the y goes up, power on x goes down, power of y goes up, power of x goes down, power of y goes up. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace all the y's with a negative 3. So I have x to the fourth, 4 times 3 is 12, and it's negative. And then here, a negative 3 squared is 9, times 6 is 54. Negative 3 cubed is negative 27, times 4 is negative 108, and then negative 3 to the fourth is 81. And that is a whole lot faster than going x minus 3 times x minus 3 times x minus 3. Let's try one more. All right, this row, it's cubed. If we went back and looked, cubed is uh, 1, 3, 3, 1. So it is 1x cubed, 3, power on x goes down, power of y goes up. Power of x goes down, power of y goes up. So that was the row for the x cubed. Here, all this is x, and the 2 is y. So just substitute things in. It is 1 x, but x is 5y cubed, 3x, x is 5y squared, times y, but y is 2, plus 3x, which is 5y, 
times y squared, but y is 2, plus 1 times y, y was 2 cubed. So now we simplify. 5 cubed is 125. 5 squared is 25, times 3 is 75, times 2 is 150, that was y squared. 2 squared is 4, 4 times 5 is 20, times 3 is 60, that's just a y, and 2 cubed is 8.